What up, fam? Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the alert. <laughs> alert five. <laughs> So Sean, my buddy Sean, one of our fellow uh, viewers, left a comment. He was like, you guys should talk about what you're doing after. You know, like, um, GI Bill, whatever we're doing career-wise. But I guess I'll just start. You know, I'm doing communications. I'm starting communications. He's doing science. Science. <laughs> science. <laughs> science. <laughs> you know? He's like going to be an astro astrophysics. A uh, major in physics and a minor in math and chemistry. Or, or science. <laughs> right, right. Science. Just simple. I mean, you know, science. that you would think that'd be you know the Marines saying that shit. But <laughs> smart one here. Business, business, marketing, entrepreneurship. Yeah, entrepreneur, business. I'm kind of doing the same like entrepreneur kind of like this stuff. And then the corpsman is doing the. You want to be a, what, a well, physicians? Well, I did. Um, I did major in global studies to get a. Um, Social science background, but right now I'm doing a bachelor's in, in biology. So nice. another science major. Oh yeah. yeah. Just to get the prereqs done for medical school. Dang. So as you can see, you know, you can do a plethora of things, right? Um, you can study whatever you want after you get out, because you know a lot of people's military experience, not a lot of it transfers over to the civilian world. But what does transfer over is like the experiences, the lessons that you learned, the skills that you developed. And that helps you in, in college and in school, um, you know, in that transition. So yeah, I'm trying to do entrepreneurial stuff with the YouTube channel here, uh, get my degree. And after that, I think I want to, you know, I would like to do like a civilian kind of like a recruiter. Yeah. You know, the contact that we have here with the recruiter in Thousand Oaks, he says that there's like positions you can be like a civilian, a civilian recruiter equivalent to like a regular yeah, recruiter. kind of cool. So I think that would like be right up my alley. Yeah. And then Chris is doing his entrepreneur. He has the Sticker Fire, sticker fire. website. Actually, new sticker will be yeah. will be being launched next week. And that's all him, veteran startup. He's doing that all, uh, you know, alongside going to school. And then obviously you have you guys are studying twenty four seven. Just about. That's insane. Like I can't. Yeah. I'm not right. We're not. I don't know how you guys do. Like major yeah. props, man. Like that <laughs> shit is so hard. It, it's actually not that bad once you give up on the social life. <laughs> right. Yeah. And and like, you just think, just just come to terms with the fact you're not gonna have a life or friends. I've, I've never been as this sober for so long. Yeah. In my Dude, life. Has, <laughs> has like the military and stuff. Well, you were Navy corpsman within Marines, but obviously you guys were similar in training and stuff. Did that help, like study wise now being in school? Or did it something you had to develop? I wouldn't study say study-wise. I would say actually the opposite. I mean, the mentality we had in the Marines was work hard, play hard, mm, and um, right. now it's just all work hard and work. play play a little, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. yeah, well, yeah the stakes are higher. Yeah, yeah, the stakes yeah, are a lot higher here. Yeah, See, but that, that, that little bit is hard though. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, all out. Yeah, like well, being a being a veteran and then going into a college environment. It's you know it's gonna be tempting. There's a lot of stuff to tempt you. I mean my grades are decent. They're not they're not horrible. Hard classes. Right, but, right. Um, I was yeah. gonna say my study habits sucked, dude. Yeah, yeah. My first, if you look at my grades, my first two semesters after I got out, like it wasn't. I just didn't have. I couldn't focus on. I had so much other stuff going on. You know, transitioning, trying to. I just you know get yeah. back to the civilian life. Like it was in the back burner, like school. Yeah. yeah. I didn't give it too much. The, yeah. the hard part is definitely the beginning. Time just getting used to being back into that mode of studying. Yeah. Sorry, studying. I cut you off. No, you're, no, you're fine. You're fine. Well, yeah. what I was gonna say was, but more based on the fact that I'm a veteran, the uh, University of Missouri is paying for my trip to fly out there and oh. interview for a PhD program. Dude, that's yeah. so, perfect. I mean, it's a mix of grades, but also I think they looked at you know being a veteran and the things that I've done yeah. really helped. Them with oh yeah. Being a veteran, like, if you're scared to get out, you know what, hell, there's so many organizations and so much benefits that we have now and we can utilize that, you know, like, use all the stuff you can. You know, a lot of people don't want to, like, oh, I don't want to reach out for help or I'm yeah. too proud for that. And mm -hmm. what are you, you're just hurting yourself, yeah. you dummy. Actually, it would, be, yeah. it would be beneficial even if you, just, just from my perspective, because I didn't want to do anything medical when I got out just because I was tired of it. Mm. But ultimately now, here I am, do, actually preparing for it again. Personally, I think, and may, maybe others have experienced it differently, but I think the big thing is, once you get out, you lose the, the whole purpose part that you had. 
and I'm not saying like in a grand scheme of all things, but ultimately you were in a you were let's say in the navy on a as an AM or whatever aviation part you did. Mm -hmm. You had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Like you had a job, you had a timeline, everything was pretty much set for you. Once you get out, you don't have any of that anymore. That's so a good pretty point. much essentially deciding, and that's part of where the study habits come in later on. Once you decide for it, actually, what you, that you know what you're going for, what your goal is, then the study, study habits will change just because you know, okay, this is all for a purpose again. Right. And I think that's the big thing. So the more you can talk to other people, other veterans or whatever support groups you have, by all means, talk to whoever many people you can because that'll help you go to go get to that place faster where you know what you want to do. Right. I was going to say that brings up a good point. You know, you have that, you know, the purpose or the mission that you have when you're in and then you get out and I know I'm younger than, I think I'm the youngest one here. I didn't have that, uh, I lacked that like drive or not that drive, but that pressure of like, dang, everything's on me now, you know? Yeah. Like I was spoon fed everything up in high, until high school and mm -hmm. then joined the military, then you're still spoon fed. Yeah. You know how it is, right? You're told every single thing, what to do, where you to go, think. when to wipe your ass, when yeah. to eat, when to, and then I got out and I'm like, oh dang, I gotta do everything, all these, Where's all this the shit. Right, you know? <laughs> I would die if it wasn't for Jesse. Like, I literally, she makes all my fucking food. Yeah. Thank the Lord, dude. I'm already fucking skinny enough, but, um, as, as you know, you guys being older, we, did you feel like a sense of like, dang, there's so much pressure on me now? Or was it just, oh, just back to regular civilian life, like same old? I, I'd say when, when I first got out, it was kind of, I think I went through that period of let, let's just enjoy this time and, you know, probably. It was definitely out. important to take a yeah. break, you know, relax. I think we all probably had a little bit of unemployment. You get the GI yeah. Bill going, don't have get to work, yeah. take some easy classes, but. Yeah. It, it's that time that's important though and, and I figure that out is because the classes that you take are general ed but you're looking for something that interests you mm -hmm. to what you to what David was saying because once you find that knack right you know then you're then back you start in putting it. you know more effort and time into it you know yeah exactly yeah I faced that too you know I took my gen ed classes and I didn't have that I didn't care but now I'm taking my major classes and I'm like stoked yeah. to like this next semester but mm -hmm. But yeah, um, that that is actually extremely difficult. Like the the gen ed can actually ruin a lot of things just because you do stuff that seem completely unrelated to anything that you're interested in, but it's just part of what you, what, the, what you have to do. And it's just like you know, even, even if you have to do it for a semester or two, just just push through, just kind of just yeah. accept it for what it is, because mm -hmm. that actually ultimately it, it is going to pay off later on for whatever major you're going for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, w I was an accounting major until uh, I took astronomy for fun. I thought, well, oh, let me just take this. I like those you histories. Yeah, the history Damn. documentaries. And, and now look at the freaking science. Yeah. <laughs> how many of you? Five years later. <laughs> how many classes have yeah. you knocked out? You knocked out a bunch of a yeah, couple hard classes. I had classes. to, uh, uh, quantum mechanics was the hardest one so far. But I mean... <laughs> What I actually that? had to get approved from the school <laughs> because I've been taking so many units and I haven't graduated yet that yeah, I, yeah. you know, had to come up with a reason. Another program to look into is Voc Rehab, yeah, Vocational Voc Rehab. Rehab. If you do have a, if you get a disability rating, if you get out, that's another good benefit you can utilize. If you guys have any more questions about this or whatever else topic you want us to talk about, let us know in the comments. Uh, me, Chris, Josh, David, uh, Marine, Coast Guard, Navy, Navy, Corpsman. Airframer, gunner, everything, everything, <laughs> electronics, everything, electronics, Science. youth boarding. So yeah, let us Science. know whatever questions you have. We're gonna be trying to do these weekly now that school started and I'm back working here. So uh, super stoked! Um, a new sticker fire campaign will be launching next week. Yep, next week. So um, you'll be able to buy those stickers, and uh, we're excited to launch that. See you guys soon. Social media blows always. Boy, peace. Later. Sign. Science. <laughs> Science. 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 Science.